The polynomial function p is given by p of x equals negative 4x to the fifth plus 3x squared plus 1. Which of the following statements about the end behavior of p is true? So this is a quintic, all right? I know it's a quintic because the highest degree is 5. So quintics usually look like this, something like that. However, when your leading coefficient is negative, and by leading coefficient, I mean the number attached to x to the fifth, when it's negative, things are flipped upside down, so now it will look something like that. So the end behavior as it's going to the left is infinity, and as it goes to the right is negative infinity. So we need to pick the guy that works for that. So when it mentions the limit as x approaches negative infinity, that means to the left. So we want one that has negative infinity approaching regular infinity and regular infinity approaching negative infinity, so not u. Negative infinity is approaching positive infinity. That works for me. Positive infinity is approaching negative infinity. That works for me. Uh, this won't do it. And this won't do it. Now let's just make sure that the reasoning is acceptable. The sign of the leading term of P is negative, and the degree of the leading term is odd. Therefore, there you have it. So B is my guy. And again, because this is a quintic, with a negative leading coefficient. So as the limit approaches negative infinity, it goes up, which is positive infinity. And as the limit approaches positive infinity, it goes down, which is negative infinity. Hmm, so many infinities. It's like a car dealership.